everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to analyze the security of your rust project so uh, whenever you write a, a serious program in rust whether it's a smart contract or this is a desktop or a system or a service whatever it is your project probably comprises various dependencies external dependencies all those sdks and libraries that you include in your code uh, can potentially introduce security issues so why it matter sometimes there are like free open source or even commercial you know dependencies and they might have some bugs and uh, some of these bugs can be exploited by hackers for example they can uh, access some code or execute some malicious command or perform some sort of denial of, denial of service or dos attack on your project um, when you use these dependencies means that uh, you introduce those vulnerabilities to your program and it actually can be quite dangerous so in this video i'm going to show you how we can uh, quickly identify uh, dependency uh, or vulnerable dependencies in your project this is a smart contract uh, what we can do first we go to terminal and we need to have cargo so if you don't have cargo you can install cargo like this okay um, I do have it so as you can see you know uh, here is my cargo and the um, tool that we are going to use for auditing the dependencies is called cargo uh, audit so how you can install that cargo install cargo audit okay So I've already installed a uh, cargo IODIT on my machine. So um, as you can see, is version 0.16.0. And in order to run this tool, we just need to type cargo and IODIT like this. And it takes a while to you know, fetch the uh, vulnerabilities database and looking for security issues and controlling you know the dependency tree of my project so as you can see it quickly actually found a vulnerability here and the vulnerability is related to um to basically regex so if i go to cargo lock here and scroll down i can find the issue So now I can find the issue. So as you can see, the version, the current version of uh, regex here is 1.5.4, and this is vulnerable to DOS attack. Um, and um, and it's suggested me to upgrade that to any newer version up to 1.5.5. So if I go here, you can find further details about the vulnerability. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me up and you can write down your comments. And uh, if you want to have more information about security IODs and uh, writing projects in Rust, you can ping me via my email you can, or you can check out my GitHub repository. So thank you very much and good luck.